Hey everybody, so today I'm going to be doing my first trimester update for you guys. If you did not see my pregnancy announcement video, I will link that down in the description box in case you want to check that out. But I am pregnant. I am 17 weeks, so I do have a little bit of stuff to fill you guys in on and first and foremost I just want to say thank you to you guys. I know my videos haven't been nearly as frequent as what I used to be doing and I just want to say thank you for sticking with me and understanding and being patient because it has been rough. I can definitely understand why some people just completely disappear when they have a YouTube channel when they are pregnant because it is rough. You know, I know that it may look like I just sit down in front of the camera for you guys. I talk a little bit. I put it up on YouTube, but there's a lot of work I put in, into these videos. I'm not going to put up videos that aren't worth your time. I'm not going to put up sloppy videos or anything like that. So I always want to bring you guys quality and that's what matters to me. And I really do put a lot of time and effort and that's why they've been less frequent because I want to make sure that they're up to the quality that I like to see for my videos. And I just, it's taken me longer to put that much time and energy into things. Yeah, I just want to thank you guys. I just, you guys are the best subscribers and viewers and I just love you all. I love your comments. I love interacting with you guys. I just, I love it all. Also, by the way, if this lighting is weird, I'm sorry. I am like racing with the sun before it goes down because it is kind of later in the afternoon. But excuse me if I'm looking down, I'm reading off my phone just... So I make sure I tell you guys everything. So yeah, we found out that we were pregnant around like August 25th or 27th, something like that. I know it was a few days after our anniversary, so that's how I'm remembering it. But um, I didn't really feel anything right away. With my first two pregnancies, I had a pretty good idea that that test was going to come back positive when I took it because I had like cramping and really, really, really bad back pain. This pregnancy, I didn't have any of that. So... I really didn't expect to be pregnant, but when I took the test, it honestly took me by such surprise. It has never happened for us that easily. I don't think I've ever mentioned on here, but it did take us six months to get pregnant with Sophie, and we did lose our first to a miscarriage, so it's been kind of a rough road in getting where we are, and it was just totally surprising to either of us that I was pregnant as quickly as I was. But I will say that for the first couple weeks after I found out I was feeling fine. I really didn't have any complaints. Nothing really out of the ordinary. Maybe a little emotional, but nothing crazy. And it wasn't until about uh, seven weeks that I got my first symptom. And that was migraines. I mean, like mind splitting migraines. They were so, so bad. I can't even express to you guys. I am no stranger to migraines. I get them, I wouldn't say frequently, but I would say I get them at least monthly. Around that time of the month, that's when I normally get them. But you know, when I'm not pregnant, I can take something. And as frequently as I was getting these migraines, I mean, they were lasting like three days and I'd get a break of one day and then I'd get it right back like later that evening or the next morning. And it was like back to back migraines that just seemed to last forever. And I just wasn't comfortable taking pain medicine because I'm, I know that I would have had to have been taking it constantly and I didn't want to have to deal with any of that. I did try some of like the tips and tricks on Pinterest and you know some of those things that people tell you all the time and none of them seem to work. Um, I'm going to be doing a first trimester must-haves so I'm not going to give too much away but I did find out that peppermint oil for me really really worked. It helped with my headaches, it helped with my migraines, and I only had a couple weeks of those. So I was really grateful because by the second week I was just so tired, I wasn't really sleeping. It's not like I could rest during the day either because I just seemed to have a headache all the time. So around nine weeks is when that passed, but that's when another symptom cropped up and that was extreme nausea, vomiting. Oh man, with my first two pregnancies, I did not have nausea or vomiting. I don't think at all with Sophie. Like, not in the 39 weeks I was pregnant with Sophie, I don't think I was nauseous or vomited once with her. Um, I know I had food aversions with Sophie, but nothing compared to this. This was awful. I felt sick 110% of the time. The only relief I would get is when I would sleep for a few hours and even then I would like wake up and 
be uncomfortable and feel sick all over again and it'd be hard to go back to sleep and just it was really rough and towards the end of that nothing seemed to be working at first I was trying like ginger ale and crackers and stuff like that and it just seemed to progressively get worse to the point where those little things that normally help people when they're nauseous just didn't seem to do anything at all my doctor did put me on medicine for a little while and that helped tremendously it let me function it made me feel like a normal human being again and about 13 weeks is when the nausea started to subside even to this day, I'll get a random wave of nausea out of nowhere and it's really, really bad. It's like it hits me like a ton of bricks and I feel like I'm going to vomit right then and there. Those were like my two biggest symptoms in the first trimester. Like I kind of mentioned with the nausea, I was having a hard time sleeping. I was just kind of uncomfortable, like my neck would hurt and my shoulders would hurt and just all kinds of different things. And with being nauseous in the middle of the night, that didn't help either. It was really hard to get back to bed. So I was tired a lot of the time. Um, I would say I was more tired in my first trimester than I am now in my second trimester, but it hasn't totally went away. But it did definitely get a lot better. Towards the end of my first trimester, and it has stuck so far, I have realized that I am super emotional this pregnancy. With Sophie, I think that I was... I, I was emotional. I think every pregnant woman's kind of emotional, but it wasn't anything that I could ever notice or anything that was too severe. But with this one, like, I am easily irritable, like, so bad. I, like, don't even want to admit it because I feel bad. On top of that, like, I cry over everything. I don't know what it is. Like, I've watched Grey's Anatomy for close to 10 years now, and... I've never cried over an episode. I know that sounds strange, especially all things considered in those seasons, but I've held strong and I've never cried through a single episode, but I cry every single episode now, even when there's nothing sad. I even cried over how to get away with murder. It doesn't make any sense. It never does. I don't know why Mark lets me have internet or Hulu and Netflix access anymore because I cry over everything. The only things I was craving were Mexican food and water, which... The Mexican food especially surprises me because if you know me, you know I don't like spicy or hot food. We don't even have very many Mexican restaurants around us. So when I started craving Mexican food, I was like, whoa, you know you're pregnant because this craving just like makes no sense. It's totally out of the norm for me. Water was a normal craving. I craved water the entire pregnancy with Sophie. We've had three ultrasounds done in the first trimester. We had one done at... Eight weeks, one done at almost 10 weeks, and then one done at like 12 and a half weeks. And I will say that it was pretty awesome. With Sophie, we only saw her at six weeks and seven weeks, and then at 20 weeks. So it was like, we've never seen the in-between, so it was really, really cute, and it was like fun to see them be like, just that little itty bitty thing inside you. It was really cute, and everything went super well with those. There's nothing really to report in my first trimester nothing other than really symptoms and things like that but yeah I just want to fill you guys in on how my first trimester went I think what I'm going to be doing is I think for my second trimester I'm going to do a first half and a second half update kind of like split at the anatomy scan and stuff like that and then I think in the third trimester I might update more often I'm not sure leave down in the comments how often you guys think I should update yeah so I'm not really sure I know I have had questions on if I was going to document this pregnancy obviously with this video it's kind of a dead giveaway but I am like I said I'm gonna be doing kind of updates here and there but I also have a couple other fun pregnancy related videos you know I plan to do like a what's in my hospital bag and things like that when I get closer to the end of my pregnancy but yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, thanks for watching.